know why I like mental institutions. Tell me, Ruby. Because of women like that. Okay. Do you meet them in your life? No. No, you do not. The Graham Norton Radio Show. On Virgin Radio. After lockdown, I, you know, with no distractions, and I thought, yeah. how, you know, I, I've given the best years of my life being on the phone to people I don't even know. Yeah. So I thought, let's change everything. Let's find some meaning, mm-hmm. right? That was going for meaning, but I yeah. didn't know what that was. So I thought, let's go on these journeys and sell it to uh, the the penguin as a book, okay. um, a, a travel thing, and uh, I'd go these extreme journeys that would maybe inspire me so mm-hmm. I just, these are just things for me and they didn't cost anything you know so I so 30 like days swimming silent. with humpback humpback whales. does sw- cost but I okay. hustled it I swam with humpbacks that's a story in itself I bet um because Christian monastery. Christian monastery, not expensive. Where I uh, tried to get people out of Afghanistan. I went to a 30-day silent retreat, and then there were more and more, and then I ended up in a mental institution. Go figure. Okay, so that wasn't part of the plan, That clearly. was not on my agenda, no. But what happened was after I did these remarkable journeys, mm-hmm. it's not a great... It's, it's, I, it's funny, it's like a... It's like a great travelogue. Because you can't but be funny, but even it, when you're... But it was like, where's the heart of this? Where's the mm-hmm. meat? Okay, funny journeys, you know, interesting and hilarious sometimes. Yeah. And then you really do find what you're looking for. By the way, it might just last a minute, but bingo, you hit it once mm-hmm. in a while. Because you can't, you can't shut up for 30 days and, you know, you're doing mindfulness for uh, 13 hours a day. Uh, you can't do that. Unless your mind finally, it sort of, it gives up like it's been, um, you know, arm wrestling Mm -hmm. and the critical thoughts are coming and it hates you and it's telling you why you're too old and too ugly. And then suddenly it just gives up. It's like a muscle that goes, okay, baby, you take it. And there are moments where you can actually taste what you're eating Mm -hmm. and the granola is delicious. And then, of course, I thought, oh, I'm evolved. Oh, my God, I'm totally evolved. I have to call Eckhart Tolle. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to let him know. To let him know I'm in the present. Anyway, the moments of madness. But what happened was after, I hadn't had depression in 12 years, in 12 years. So imagine my surprise. I'm all on these incredible journeys mm-hmm. and suddenly it's like the devil starts to talk to you and you think, oh, this is familiar. And then you go, oh, I haven't had this for, because tw-. each time it's like when, you know, when you have your, um, Period. You always think, why do I want to? Um, why am everybody? I crying in the yeah. back of a car? Well, men, my, uh, mental illness is similar because you want to block it out. You don't want to remember, and then you go, oh, "When have I had this before?" So I went, you know, deadly. Yeah. And um, you're not funny. You and whoever you are leaves town, mm-hmm. and you get those devil voices. And uh, gradually, I realized I gotta go. So I ended up in an institution. Of course, you can't right there because you're a paper bag, mm-hmm. and people are making you sign things you don't even know where your arms are, let alone how to use them. And then they put you. You have to wait for the devil to leave. I mean, you know, it's no. If you could shout, and you it don't out, know when when no. he's gonna leave. When he finally did leave, and I had some interesting medication and interesting. Uh, things used on my brain mm-hmm. which sped it up yeah it worked well tell me about that because I know that there are you know and you've studied so there's maybe a like not a cynicism but there's certainly a, a level of knowledge that you bring to these you know um different places that you explore and different kind of um modalities if you like but this one you were you had never heard of before and were surprised by how well, the, quick Well, life it moves on, right? Mm. And because when I went to Oxford, you know, if they were teaching witchcraft, I might not have gone. Yeah. But it was very scientific and, and technical. But there's always new stuff and you really have to have a very um, kind of uh, a mind that can distinguish the absurd from the uh the, the the real yeah and I'm I'm more scientific call me crazy mm-hmm. but you know an angel card ain't gonna do it for me and may God bless you yeah. God bless you if it could work for you I've now got an angel card here let me see I feel like this one might are work. you kidding no, all right joking. yeah but I do have many decks of them. <laughs> Whatever I do keeps too. you going, Ruby. I do no? too. And when I was in the mental institution, this is my favorite nurse called Risk. I hope she's listening. So I'd always go, hi, Risk. Not good. She'd <laughs> give me my affirmation card. And she actually came. I have previews going on now. She came two nights ago. And I just wanted to bury myself in her body. Because mm. there's these angels, women, usually. Actual. The, nur- the nurses. And if you could just sink into their crevices, you'd mm-hmm. be healed. Yeah. 
Okay, so besides her, there was equipment called um, repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation, which looks like a 50s hair dryer. And it has, after 20 sessions, it has a 65% chance of success. Which is wild. Wild. And it goes, ah, like on your head. And so I is said, it like electric shock therapy? No, that's, no. to me, that has... You can't remember your planet of origin after one of those. Well, you for know, me. Uh, I didn't realize. And uh, you've had that? No, no. No, because that feels so. My, but, my but uncle still, people, had that. It does work on some people, yeah, so I don't okay. want to be too cynical. Yeah. But it's. But it's, it sounds quite barbaric, doesn't it? But this it? Is, uses magnets, so we thought there are no side effects. Okay. There's well, no downside. There's no downside. So far, they're going to find out my teeth fall out in two years. <laughs> you can do it without your teeth if you're upright, no? Yeah, if you can think, you, teeth are not required. Well, and I mean, this is the thing that you so eloquently and passionately and relatably, you know, communicate all the time is this kind of idea. And I've sp- I heard you spoken about it many times. We kind of talk about mental illness and the brain being, you know... The mothership. It's the mothership. And we, we say, oh, yeah, but it's, you know, invisible. But as you rightly say, so well, is a kidney and so is diabetes. <laughs> yeah. And why are we neglecting to to fund and to talk about mental health and brain health, really? Well, which it feels- is you, you know, so if, if, you're, if you're ashamed... It's pretty much, you know, you can live without everything, yeah. but not without the mothership. Mm-hmm. But the point is, at the end of, um, I, at, when I did come out of the clinic, that became the book, is somebody in a clinic writing about these journeys they went on. Mm-hmm. So it's, it starts with, uh, you know, you're in there, and some of it's, I'm sorry, hilarious. Yeah, One always. flew over the cuckoo's nest land. Like okay. The, you know, my people. They're my people yeah. going, oh no, their foxes are coming into my home and they're eating my frozen prawns and I had them for a party. So I put vegan food out for the foxes and they still come into my home eating the prawns. And... And Freddie's going to eat. And, you know, in a place like this, you don't ask why, right? Yeah. These are the conversations you have. And I mean, Do you know why I like mental institutions? Tell me, Ruby. Because of women like that. Okay. Do you meet them in your life? No. no you do not. So, but then do you feel like I in those them. moments when you're in the darkest place that you're also having those kind of oh, conversations, you're... but you're unaware? No, no. I don't have that particular fix and yeah, I'm not okay. English. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but, you know, you, you like to have your tribe. You know, nothing yeah. is shocking and everything's acceptable. But I put, you know, they were there and uh, bizarre things in the hospital my first day out, yeah. you know, where the sun blinds you like you're a vampire mm-hmm. and going to sleep and watching reruns of Friends but not really understanding the plots. Yeah. Because, but liking the colors. So you gradually, I get better, but also most of the show is the, the journeys to getting out of Afghanistan, to, to the retreats, to the swimming with um, whales. And so you do go on somebody's mental journey outside and inside.